Hi everyone, welcome back to the C Morning Show. World Vegan Day originated in England in 1994 when vegan animal rights activist Lewis Wallace was looking for a suitable setting to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the vegan society. Now, Wallace set the date as November the 1st, as it falls exactly between October the 31st, which is Halloween, mm -hmm. as well as the Mexican Day of the Dead, which actually mm. falls a day later on November the 2nd. Yes, and that's very interesting. Now, since November the 1st, 1994, the World Vegan Day has provided a welcoming occasion for all vegans in parts of the world to celebrate and, of course, to further promote a vegan lifestyle with all its positive aspects. Yes, and plant-based diet is now coming back again. You know, a lot of people are more and more aware of how good it is for your body to have a plant-based diet. And also to celebrate Vegan Day today, here in the studio, we bring you Firman Shamastup, the Jakarta Vegan Guy co-founder. Good morning, Firman. Thank you so much for joining us Good here. Good morning. Thank you for having me, Lawrence and Paul. Yeah. It's an honor. Great oh, to great to have you. And also, thank you for bringing this. A little what, distracted. But what I have know. you brought it's here? It's really distracting, even <laughs> for me. It does. So what have, you got, what have we got here? Can you explain I, a little bit? I brought some Manadanese cuisine, mm -hmm. which are made it vegan. Yes. So there's a chakalang, yes. uh, richa. Usually we use moko. fish, right? Fish yeah. or meat, right, sometimes? No, yeah. mostly yeah. fish, yeah. Mostly fish yeah. and also sometimes probably chicken. Is that yes. correct? Yes, chicken, yes. beef, and some other protein. Yeah. Correct. So with, yeah. the, with the chakalang, what is the replacement for the meat then? So we use alternative fish, which uh -huh. made from soy and mushroom. Uh -huh. And to get that fishy taste, there's some uh, nori. Nori, oh, yeah. yeah. So to get that nice. fishy taste. Wow, that's cool. amazing. Looks very much like, I'm tricked. I, I'm, I'm thinking, <laughs> I is it beef? Know. Like, what is it? Is it fish? Yeah. I know, right? So thank you for bringing this. Uh, Paul? Yeah, I know, I like, know. I'll <laughs> get <to our> <laughs> So Maybe we not can get now, some my friend. steamed rice uh, on the side. Just <laughs> steamed rice on the side. Yes, before we can dig in into uh, the plant-based uh, Manadonese food later, please do tell us about the Jakarta Vegan Guide. What is yeah. it? So, Jakarta Vegan Guide is a digital media platform mm -hmm. uh, where we aim to help people navigate uh, plant-based lifestyle mm. and sustainable lifestyle in Jakarta and beyond. Mm. And the idea started because back in 2017, when I turned myself into vegan, mm -hmm. uh, it's really hard to find this information, yes. where to eat, nutrition. So it was coming from my own frustration. Yes. Uh, and then like a year later, I decided, me and my co-founder decided to like, why not we create something so that people can mm -hmm. be vegan easily in Jakarta. So yeah. that's how, yeah. So what kind of information would it be? Would it be about the nutrition? Would it be about recipes? Because I, I would love to find like a, you know, vegan recipes and one directory sort of thing. Yeah, all of it actually. Mm. Uh, of course, I think because my background was a chef, so ah. there's a lot of food involved in the <gasps> platform, but also we provide nutrition. Of course, we have a certified nutritionist that write for us and a lot, a lot of about news as well so that people can keep up with the latest plant-based trend. Mm. So yeah, so it's basically everything uh, revolves around plant-based or vegan lifestyle. Mm. Okay, yeah. now let's uh, clear up some misconceptions here because <laughs> many people, a lot of my friends out there are all like, I'm living a vegan lifestyle now. It's like, yeah. no you're not, <laughs> you're just vegetarian. <laughs> can you explain the difference of someone living a vegan lifestyle or yes. just being vegetarian? Yes. So a vegetarian does not consume any animal flesh or protein, okay. uh, but they still consume or include uh, products like eggs or and milk. dairy. Okay. Mm. Yeah, milk uh, and cheese as well. So any product derived from dairy products are still is still fine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, vegan not only they do not consume animal protein, but also or, or like flesh, but they also do not include dairy and eggs in their diet. Anything that comes from an animal. Yes. Basically. Yes. Okay. That's yes. the bi that's the biggest difference. Also, yeah. does it also not include like a whole lifestyle? For example, the the soaps that you use or yeah. clothes that you wear. Yeah. It's also non-animal derived. Correct. 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 So when somebody tells you that they're vegan, oftentimes not only they incorporate you know like plant-based food but also mm -hmm. they try to exclude themselves from anything that's coming from an animal product which right. means mm -hmm. your watch your clothes right. soap uh, right. so yeah so it's transcend beyond your diet yeah, yeah I think it's like it's it's two completely different things yeah. and I think a lot of people just kind of throw the word vegan around too yeah. easily yeah. Yeah. just because we do label like vegan restaurants yeah. and things like that so yeah 
Is it easy yeah. becoming a vegan in Indonesia? Especially, you know, like the, the thing that you mentioned earlier, being vegan actually means not using any animal products whatsoever. Yeah. Like for example, I, <laughs> I pay attention to my watch and the strap obviously is leather. Well, if, uh, it's derived from the animal. Uh, is it easy? Because I imagine in the Western world, yeah. you know, there's a lot of information uh, and corporations would have to be transparent where uh, they source their products. But what about in Indonesia? I imagine we're not that advanced yet. So is it easy to become a vegan in Indonesia? It's easy and hard. Mm. So it's easy because I think our cultures are already pretty much plant-based. If you look at the data, Indonesia has the lowest consumption of meat. Mm. So really? it's already a good start. Because it's expensive as well. Because it's expensive for yes. a lot of people. Yeah, sure. it's, it's not accessible for many people. Therefore, many people often eat, you know, tempeh, tahu, oh, food, yeah. and yeah. and the, the highest protein intake in Indonesia is basically fish, right? Mm -hmm. Because we're, you know, Maritime. abundant. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But uh, it's hard because uh, also, like what you just said, mm. I think information mm -hmm. and accessibility, uh, knowledge. I think uh, we have all the ingredients that we can actually make, but they just don't know how to make one. Like for yes. example, like what I brought here, yeah. it's not something that people would think when they think of vegan diet. Right. Yeah. When people think about vegan diet, they straight away think about the salad. They wouldn't think about a dish from a Nadonese, you know, a yeah. Nado, so, so yeah. So, and I think, uh, obviously, you may have noticed as well in the last, I guess, five years now yeah. for the Jakarta Vegan Guide, you must have a lot more information to share in regards to places people can eat, yes. recipes as well, just because this thing has grown quite exponentially over right. the last few years. So, you said that, it, you know, a lot of people don't think in this direction. It's actually not that difficult. However, a lot of people do associate being vegan as being, it's difficult. It's a hassle for yeah. me to make this yeah. entire meal. Prove us wrong. Like, what, what, how difficult would it be to substitute a regular Madarodi's dish with something that is with vegan substitutes? Okay, so, you know, typically all of the Indonesian or any dishes will use uh, protein, right? Yes. Either chicken, beef, or fish. Yeah. Uh, and similar to that, in a vegan diet, we can also do the same thing. Okay. Except the protein that we make, which is now becoming more available in the market. Yeah. There's an alternative of fish, alternative of chicken, okay. uh, which is already being made by this, you know, uh, supplier. But also you can use the things that are already found locally, like tofu, tempeh. Okay. So instead of making uh, chicken woku or yes. ayam woku, yeah. you can make tofu woku. Yeah. Right. So, so those yeah. are the direct substitutes. What about the trickier ones, such as dairy products? Because yeah. if you're vegan, I mean, yeah. there's, Oat there's, milk. there's egg and... <laughs> cashew milk. milk. But yeah. when you want to yeah. say make baked goods and things like yeah. that, you know, yeah. some people think butter uh, eggs are very yeah. irreplaceable. Yeah, yeah. So what are some of the substitutes yeah. that people can use? Yeah, so uh, I think in terms of baked product, I totally agree with you that it is more difficult because they just tend to use uh, yeah, dairy, eggs. Yeah. So the alternative of Butters actually, it's called. Uh, this actually margarine. Okay. Is, oh, margarine. Yeah, margarine you can is actually use margarine. vegan. That's right. I forgot. Yeah. That. Okay. Uh, and and we grew up with cheaper. margarine. Yeah, we did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, yeah, and for egg, it depends on what kind of product you make. But usually, I use either uh, applesauce or flaxseed really? uh, oh. egg, oh. or the easier way you can actually use banana as a replacement of egg. Although it doesn't work in any recipe, but like right. in many recipe, but. It still works oh, as an so alternative, works. yeah. I would like to get personal with you. So sure. when you decided to become a vegan, not even transitioning from, you know, yeah. vegetarian and vegan, what, what made you decide to become a vegan? I think it's the whole journey. I was raised in the city where I can see how pretty much like uh, like livestock being produced, yeah. so, but it was always seems normal to me. Mm. And then grow, growing up, working in the kitchen, so I think the whole journey was like a, a process for me to get mm. the understanding mm. how your food is being made, and then finally I get to discover the other side and knowledge about you know how meat could actually impact the environment and then there are an alternative of eating that can actually be healthier and more sustainable. So when you get this knowledge, it just, it just uh, you know, like a thing that easily, you know, I can decide, yes. like, I think this is for me. Yeah, yeah. it just changes you completely. Exactly. Was yeah. the transition easy for you uh, from eating meat to not eating meat? 
because Absolutely. that becomes <laughs> it was easy it for was, you. I uh, know it was actually hard. Hard, okay. Because just I was like most people. Just like most people, mm. uh, and I was a huge meat eater. Really? Uh, I love my <laughs> steak, but and then when I when I transitioned myself into vegan, yeah. I I tried to find all of this same texture mm. and then taste mm. and five years ago it was really hard you know there's not so many options yes. so I get to, to to learn how to cook yes. again because what I learned back <laughs> in the days it was mostly you know like chicken fish yeah. beef so I got to learn to incorporate you know different kind of protein yeah. uh, but luckily as an Indonesian we use a lot of spices yes. and I think a lot of, of our food are not treating meat like how the Western people would do, you know. Yeah. We it's not a big steak in the middle of your plate. Yeah. With and pepper and salt. Correct. Yeah, with That's pepper it. and salt. So, <laughs> you know, you, to replace so the diet centers around the meat itself, but yes. for yes. ours, it's all about the spices, it's the blended process. Together. It's blended together. Yes. And right. some of people find like vegan food is much more uh, tastier yeah. because the texture is more, you know, like. Mm. Uh, just suitable for them yeah. more than meat for some people. But you know what, this is the interesting thing because uh, I used to be vegetarian for two years yeah. around the time when you became a, a vegan okay. uh, from 2017 to 2018. Um, and I love, I love the fact that eating more fruit, fruits and vegetables and grains, it does make me feel lighter, especially when you're doing exercise. And uh, just in general, you just feel a lot healthier as, as well. But then at one point, I stopped being vegetarian, uh, which is a shame. It's because I find it difficult to maintain my weight. So I changed to flexitarian yep. with like mostly what I eat is still grains, vegetables and fruits. But sometimes with the occasional fish or the occasional chicken or yep. very occasionally or very rarely beef. So could you please give us tips like people like me who would like to maintain their weight because it's very important for our health as well, but at the same time, just completely reducing, you know, consuming meat or animal protein. Yeah, so first of all, I think you don't have to be ashamed of yourself. I right. think you right. tried, and <laughs> I would say, I think it's not an easy transition for mm. mostly everyone. Mm. So for me, I think when we think about a diet, we think about the food that we usually eat. Yes. So I think let's, let's start with that, because you can just change everything, you know, like, like you know on one night right mm. so for me i think uh so imagine a plate yes uh like half of the plate should be fruit and vegetables okay. which is already in our guideline right in the indonesian easy peeling guideline you know yes. for a healthy diet yes. and then uh like another 30 percent of that will be carbs okay. which you can find from grains rice grains, rice and everything and another 30 percent is actually the protein protein which you can find from of course meat yeah. But also you can substitute with, you know, legumes, yes. uh, tempeh, tahu, mm. alternative fish, lentils. lentils. So yeah. there's so many options that we can find. Mm -hmm. Although maybe finding this option would be a little bit, you, you need to have a little bit more effort. Yes. Uh, and also the way you cook it will be a bit different. Yeah. But, but I think you need to just stick with that. Mm -hmm. I will, will, will make things more easier. And also when you talk about, you know, how you lose some weight, I yeah. think there's also uh, the, the fact that uh, most plant-based has lower calories. Yes. So I would... <laughs> you need to, need to yeah, eat more, is that yeah, it? you actually need to eat more <laughs> sometimes, which is a blast for some people. Right. Uh, and for me, it's always like an exciting thing, like what should I eat tomorrow? Because Ooh. I can eat more while <laughs> not, you know, gaining more weight. But, but for some people, actually, it's the opposite, right? Oh. Uh, they actually gain weight because... Really? Not about... Because I think you eat mostly uh, you know, like vegetable, fruit, yes. right? But some people eat more, most like carbs, carbs, and margarine, like Potato, processed yeah. food, which is not healthy. So yeah. I think I would like to highlight that being vegan, mm. uh, you can be healthy, but also not healthy, depending on what you eat. Mm. Very good point, because I have uh, for a couple of friends that yeah. started when this vegan trend started mostly in Indonesia. Yes. Um, I had a couple of friends who were actually in worse shape, not like physically, yeah. Um, probably healthier on the inside. Mm. Yeah. But I started noticing that's because they're eating everything. Oh, this is vegan pizza, so I can eat it. It's yeah. okay, but it's yeah. not, it's still calories. The calorie's still a calorie. Yeah. And maybe yeah. a, a good point to add as mm. well is that I have friends that, that are uh, into sports. Mm. Um, a gram of meat protein doesn't equal a gram of plant 
protein, correct? Okay. So yep. it's okay to eat more of the plant protein because right. you do need more of it. In right. your, yes. If you want to equate yes. like mm. a certain number of grams of protein per mm. day. But I also agree that like I'm with, I'm like Marissa, I'm more than 50% vegetarian yes. because I think a lot of my diet consists of vegetables and fruits. Yes. Um, and I, I felt like personally, I, start, I started doing this about seven, almost seven years ago now. Yes. I feel a change. I yes. feel, it, me personally, yep. I get sick less often. Absolutely. Just without the COVID, Absolutely. yeah. Like yeah. I would have, somebody would have a cold in my house, I'd be the mm. only one that didn't get it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure nutrition has to do with it. Now, I'm not mm. a doctor or a nutritionist, but yeah. I want to ask you, um, how did changing to vegan uh, a lifestyle change your life? Mm. Plant-based diet. Plant yeah. Uh, same with you. I think I barely got sick. Yeah. Uh, even during COVID, I think mm. I was the one who probably the last person who got <laughs> COVID. Yes. And it wasn't really that, you know, it was mild. It was that bad. Yeah. yeah, it was just like a week and it's gone, you know. Yeah. Uh, so for me, I think it has changed the way I think about life in general. Mm. Uh, nutrition and food is also, of course, it's like the first thing when you think about vegan diet, right? But I think it also kind of affect my other view on everything mm. like how i now you know uh shop less yes. uh, at you know you know like every month so so it's kind of changed the way you think about many other things mm -hmm. and in terms of health i think um, I, I i mean like my body weight is kind of like stable stable yes I think that's because, another thing You're yeah right. mm. i think because i do exercise yeah uh but also a lot of people because in in my gym to be specific they keep asking, what do you actually eat? Don't you feel tired mm -hmm. all the time because you're not eating meat? Right. And they were surprised with my performance. Like, they yeah. couldn't keep up with me because I'm like so... You're more energetic. So, yeah, more energetic yeah. than Absolutely. other people in the gym. That's because yeah. your body's not busy digesting red meat you have exactly. days, right? It's not tired. Exactly. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's also amazing. An example would be my husband. He's yeah. 57, right? And he's playing badminton at the moment. And he's yeah. the most fit out of the like, you know, like his colleagues uh, at the badminton court that is probably like 20 years <laughs> younger than him. Yeah. It's yeah. because he's mostly plant-based and then, you know, your body just immediately feels a lot lighter. Yeah. Yeah. And right? I want to ask you one more thing. There's this like, I noticed there's this divide and whenever mm. you have a, a big trend or something that kind of picks up steam, yeah. there happens to always be a divide. Like, um, um, I'm a vegan and you're not. But you mentioned something earlier in our conversation mm. to Marissa that it's okay, you don't have to be ashamed. It's great that you even tried to go yeah. for two years. Yeah. Can you just tell us a little bit about how it's okay to be vegan sometimes? I've heard some people that just do it like two days a week and they feel great. Yeah. But yeah. they don't do it all the time. Of yeah. course. Explain a little bit about how each community should just be more accepting about each yeah, other. Yeah, it's being flexitarian. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And less yeah. judgy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think vegan has to be spent. I mean, vegan has a very bad representation in the media because they often associated us with like being extremists. Right. right. And yes. then like, it's like one or nothing, you know, mm -hmm. all for an, or nothing. Yeah. Uh, but I think what's more important is actually, uh, that's why like for Jakarta Vegan Guide, we're not trying to make people to go vegan, yeah. but we want to promote the benefit of the plant-based lifestyle, Absolutely. how it is good for you, yeah. how it is for the environment. So I think uh, a lot of, people should be accepting on each other because a vegan diet is actually a good thing. It is. We're not is. promoting, you know, hate no. or, you know, violence. Although maybe in some cases there are some kind of movement that yeah. is a little bit, you know, too like, extreme. Too extreme. But, <laughs> but, but in a way, I think yeah. uh, for vegans, I would say mm. the best way to inspire people to go vegan is by living an example. Absolutely. And a living example is like showing them how fun it is, yeah. how delicious it is. Yeah. So the language is supposed to be something that really relates to many people, which yeah. is food. You know, one of the Absolutely. great examples when you talk about food, it doesn't matter what is it made from. Yes. If it is good, it is good, right? Mm. People get passionate about good food. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so by the way, um, this great conversation has led me to yeah. crave for coffee. And we do have here <laughs> Mad for Coffee. Ooh. Would you like a caramel macchiato or Ooh, yes, a, a matcha latte? Okay. No, no, the caramel macchiato. There you go. Ooh, so thank tell you us so a, much. A, a dairy about free. This. So this yes. is all dairy free. Mm. Yep. Should I shake it a little bit? Yep. I'm going to try a little bit. So explain oh, to us, caramel macchiato, Matt for coffee, dairy-free dose. Oh, love it. Yeah. yeah. So why dairy-free, right? Yeah. Uh, this one study that just published recently last year, actually, in Jakarta, mm -hmm. uh, showed that Indonesian 
60 percent of Indonesian are actually lactose intolerant. Mm -hmm. oh, so, yes. right. and especially those who are Chinese descendants, like you and me, correct, Paul, correct. Yeah. Yeah. were yeah. lactose intolerant as well. Yeah. yeah, I only found out about me having lactose intolerance after growing fever a few years because mm. every time I drink milk back in the days, yeah. I always have that, you know. Yeah. That you need to go to the toilet. To the toilet right? exactly. And I always blame the coffee, and I thought that was the coffee, and nope. then nope. it is actually the dairy that yes. costs you, you know, all of the symptoms. So, mm. so the reason why we 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 created this uh, method for coffee, we want to provide, you know, like alternative to like regular coffee yeah. with the same taste, yeah. the same price, mm. with no dairy. Yeah. And. Yeah. yeah. This one is what? Cashew or oat? Uh, this is oat. Oh. Uh, Amazing have, taste. Yeah. No yeah, different. I was going to say, it tastes, it tastes great, by the way. It's not like it's not sweet, but it has that aroma to it. Yeah. And it's like, you wouldn't even know. In, in fact, it's better. It's I always creamy. tell people all the time, I do an intermittent fasting from time to time. Yeah. And people at the gym, same. They're like, yeah. how can you drink black coffee and your stomach's <laughs> okay? I'm like, because I didn't put any dairy in it. Yeah. I'm sure if I put some dairy in it, I'd probably yeah, feel yeah. Like the same thing yeah. we normally do. This Probably. is amazing. So now a replacement for dairy would be uh, oat milk? Oat milk, almond, almond cashew. Mm -hmm. In Indonesia, we have canary. Uh, yes. And then coconut. Yes. So yeah, there are many, many alternatives to dairy that are in the market. In fact, yeah. if you go to one of the supermarkets mm -hmm. in Jakarta, mm -hmm. you will find more yes. alternative milk than dairy. Yeah, wow. nowadays. Yes, that, these days, you're you, absolutely yeah. right. Yeah, especially with oat milk. And you know, with oat milk, I even make it myself, Airman. Yeah. Is by basically, you know, like yeah. blitzing or uh, blending or mixing uh, water and oat, and uh, you can basically just sieve it through uh, the sieve, and then you'll get oat milk. But the thing is that with me particularly, I don't sieve it, so I eat the oh, oat. Oh, nice! Well because it's very good for you, That's right? Extra protein there exactly. too. Exactly. <laughs> so there you go. You can make your own oat milk. And if you want to know more and in fun information like that, you can just check out www.jakartaveganguide.com. Mm. Uh, there's also a Facebook group under the same name, as well as Instagram at Jakarta Vegan Guide. Mm. Happy World Vegan Day. Mm. Happy World Vegan Day, Paul and Marissa. Thank, Thank you. you. And thanks for the coffee. I really needed it, by the way. It's a quick pick me up. So yeah. I'm gonna finish this during our next break, <laughs> but when we return, we've got more updates and recaps for you from some world news when we return here on the Sea Morning Show. Stay with us. This is so great, Edwin. Thank you.